a high it be great pleasure to address you on the fifth anniversary of uh, the faculty, what we call FYCT, Faculty of Information, Communication and Digital, Digital Technologies. Uh, indeed, uh, we have come a long way uh, since its creation in 2017. I made a number of progress at the level of the, of the faculty in the last five, eight, five years. Uh, we have launched several new programs of studies, for example, mobile and smart technologies, a, a master's in artificial a, a intelligence. Uh, we have also set up uh, several lab infrastructures, uh, for example, the robotics, the robotics lab. We are in the process of setting up an artificial intelligence and data analytics uh, a lab. And we are also in the process of setting up an animation and, and the effects uh, the effects lab. We hope with all those facilities, our students will be able to get the best ICT education uh, a possible available in the in in, in, in the country. Uh, we are putting lots of emphasis on uh, producing graduate that are ready for the uh, for the market and uh, uh, producing quality a uh, graduate that uh, have all the necessary skills. Uh, to cope in the ICT, uh, ICT industry. So we put lots of emphasis on the quality of, uh, of, our, uh, of our teaching, on the education that we are uh, providing at, uh, at FOICT. In this line, we are also uh, partnering with uh, uh, collaborators, international collaborators like uh, uh, Arizona University, you have uh, a, a Pakistan Shazi, uh, uh, university from uh, from from France in order to offer a uh, dual dual degree programs like in cyber operation for the Arizona and uh, data science for the Shiazi uh, University. Um, we have also associated with the faculty a number of research groups, and uh, uh, they are very actively conducting research in areas of uh, of national interest. For example, we have the IoT research groups, the Internet of Things research group, we have the Health Informatics research group, we have the ICT4D research group, we have the Bioinformatics research group, and uh, we have a recently created uh, research group on cyber, uh, cyber security. So we can say that we are very much active in terms of uh, research at FYCT, and uh, we are also uh, trying to resolve uh, uh, problems of, uh, of national a uh, national interest. Um, we are celebrating our fifth uh, uh, anniversary, and in this uh, uh, context, we have uh, a week of activities that we are planning together with the with the student. I must tell you that we have a very active student community associated with uh, FYCT. We have several clubs. And, and, and they do organize several events, several workshops, seminars, uh, uh, where they have industry involvement, uh, organized by students for, a, for, for students. You have the Computer Club, you have the UN Oracle Club, you have the Google Developers Club, you have the IET, ACM student chapters, all associated with the, with the faculty. I can tell you that they are very active and we are trying at the level of the faculty to provide the necessary support for them to be able to organize the different activities that they organize for the for the students. And in the context of the fifth anniversary of the faculty, uh, we have teamed up with uh, the students' community in order to organize a week of, uh, of activities. You have a number of those activities, including uh, quiz competitions, logo competition, a ICT ideas, a, 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 com a competition, we have discussion with industry uh, industry partners and we have discussion within the faculty to reflect on the future of, uh, of FYST. So uh, with these few words, uh, uh, we, we want to project FYICT in, into the future. We want to progress a further. We want to have uh, quality graduates uh, from a, from the from the faculty, we want to continue to improve our a, infrastructure. We have several components in uh, at FYST. We have the academic body, we have the administrative body, we have the technical a technical body. 
So all of them, they are they striving, they are giving their best in order to provide a quality service to our, uh, to our students. And, and I can tell you that we have a very active uh, student community associated with the, with the faculty. So we we'll continue to uh, progress in this uh, in this direction in the uh, in the future, together with the academic community, the administrative uh, staff, and the technical uh, technical staff, and obviously together with the student community, in order to uh, uh, to move uh, FYCT in its next phase of its uh, of its development. So with these few words, I wish uh, all the best to uh, to, to FYCT and. Uh, Hope that uh, uh, we will meet again uh, next year with our list of achievements. Thank you very much. So, dear students and colleagues, it gives me an immense pleasure to address you on this uh, fifth uh, anniversary of uh, the Faculty of Information Communication and Digital Technologies. Well, five years. Uh, when you compare with uh, a child born, uh, so it's not a long time. We, you can say that we are still in the kindergarten and we are about to move to the primary school. So we can say that we are more or less in the same situation. So uh, we have achieved quite a lot in these five years, but uh, I must say that we have still a long way to go forward. So I will go back to uh, the time when we were talking about uh, creation of this faculty. So it all started uh, from the visitors report back in uh, 2013 when uh, they mentioned uh, that uh, we an increased permeation of information technology in all economic spheres the extensive sophistication of modern technological devices and the increase, increasing student population taking ICT courses or seeking to follow courses at the University of Mauritius. I strongly recommend that the Senate explores the possibility of setting up a new faculty of information technology capable of coping with the new fields of technological development of, uh, to increase the competitiveness of Mauritius. So I am a So from this uh, visitor's report, uh, in fact, uh, the Department of uh, Community Science and uh, other uh, members of the Faculty of Engineering, we, we worked out a, uh, a paper which was approved uh, in uh, November 2016, and then in, uh, in January of 2017, the uh, actual uh, idea proposal to create the Faculty of Information uh, Communication and Digital Technologies was approved. And actually, we started as a new faculty in March 2013. Okay, so initially we started with three departments and the aim of the faculty was to uh, increase the number of intakes, we be more, uh, we respond in a better way to the needs of the, uh, of the nation and uh, in fact uh, most of the uh, industries they were looking for uh, more and more graduates. In fact, at that time, it was expected that uh, the, uh, the number of graduates needed would be around 2,000 per year, and we were producing only about 300 uh, in each year. So, uh, with that, uh, the objective was to increase the number of programs, uh, offer more uh, industry-focused uh, programs, and uh, we can say that uh, we have been able to increase the number of programs uh, and, and you can uh, see the list of new programs which we got uh, like for example we have got the BSc so apart from the four existing programs BSc Applied Computing, BSc Computer Science, BSc Information Systems and BSc Super Engineering now we have got uh, 
the new uh, BSC in uh, mobile and smart technologies. We have got BSC animation and visual effects. We have got uh, dual degree programs uh, with uh, the Shelzy uh, Paris uh, University, uh, the BSC in data science, and then we also have the Bachelor of Applied Science in Cyber Operations uh, in collaboration with the University of Arizona. So all these uh, new uh, initiatives has allowed us to increase uh, the intake and also the visibility of uh, the uh, faculty to uh, even uh, foreign students because uh, it's attracting more and more foreign students at the University uh, of Mauritius. So I can say that uh, we have been quite successful in our uh, in the aims and objective of the uh, of creating the uh, the faculty, but however, uh, I can say that uh, we are still uh, five years, so we still have to do like we say for a child. You have a primary uh, full primary school, then you have secondary school, then you have university. So we have a long still a long way to go. That doesn't mean that we should take uh, all the time, but we uh, we should uh, actually focus on uh, what are the needs of the immediate needs of the country, and then. So I wish uh, all uh, the best to the faculty, uh, especially all the uh, staff members uh, of the faculty who have really been very uh, like great in terms of uh, they, they, they have been outgoing and they have been really very helpful in uh, meeting all the aims and objectives of the faculty. So we have got a very good uh, academic staff, the administrative staff and the uh, technical staff and also above all I, I should uh, thank all the students also who have been really very good in uh, creating this faculty and uh, the whatever names and I wish all the best to uh, the future of this uh, faculty. So thank you very much. Hello, I'm Sizara Mamudila Mohamed. I'm the head of department of the digital technologies um, department and I'm also a senior lecturer. As you may already be aware, the digital technologies department is one of the three departments of the faculty of ICDT. Um, the department was created at the time of the creation of the faculty itself in 2017. Um, we started with one undergraduate course and one MSc course. So the undergraduate course was the Applied Computing course and the postgraduate course was the MSc Applied Software Technologies. Now the MSc Applied Software Technologies is a course we offer together with HRDC and Accenture. It's a conversion course which is targeted for students who are from a STEM background and who wish to convert to IT. It's a fully funded course. Um, we are currently in our seventh batch. Um, the Applied Computing course is our flagship program. Um, it has been in our department since the creation of the department. Um, two years ago, we launched a new undergraduate program the Mobile and Smart Technologies um, course. And then last year, we again launched a new undergraduate program, BBS Johannes Animation and Visual Effects course. Now, at the, beginning of the um, at the beginning of the creation of the department, we had around 180 to 100 students. And um, we currently have, with the two new programs that we've launched, around 280 to 300 students in the department. Now this number fluctuates because some years we've run the MSc program only once and then some years we've run it three, three times. So obviously the number of students um, changes. Um, staff in digital technologies, they are involved in research in different fields. And um, we've got staff working in IoT and smart technologies. We've got staff working in health informatics. And we've got staff working in bioinformatics and computational biology. Now, people working in these research areas also do for consultancy. So we've got staff um, who've worked on different consultancy projects and we've got staff who um, are working and who've worked on different research projects. These consultancy and these research projects, they may be funded um, locally. 
So the research projects, they are usually, if they are funded locally, they are funded by the MRIC or the HEC, and um, sometimes by the University of Mauritius itself. Um, the ones which are funded internationally, they have been funded by the EU, by the ACU, and by the NIH in the US, and also by the Wellcome Trust in the UK. Um, the vision of the department is um, to have obviously more students in the future, because we've just launched a new program, and obviously we want these, um, the new program and also the one we launched two years ago to gain momentum and to become as popular and as successful as the applied computing um, program. We launched these two programs because there is a demand for these programs um, for people with these skills in the local market. Um, currently, all our students are easily um, getting jobs. Um, many times they get jobs even before they complete their um, degree. So for the department, we want these programs to be successful. Obviously, we want to attract more research students, um, PhD students, and also we want to become stronger in terms of research. And, um, and that's it for the digital technologies department. Welcome to the ICT department. I'm the current head of the ICT department. Since the creation of the department in 2017, the ICT department has been a major player in producing highly qualified students in the field of computer science. Our intake has steadily been increasing in order to meet the demand of the ICT sector in Mauritius. This is to demonstrate that the department is trying its level best to meet the demand of the ICT department by intaking 120 students this year. Furthermore, the ICT department has partnered with the University of Arizona to offer the Bachelor of Science in Cyber Operation. This is to show you that the ICT department is finding innovative ways of providing high quality education to our students. In addition, we offer a postgraduate uh, program in network security and management in order to meet the demand of specialized graduates in the field of computer network and security. Furthermore, our department has 14 academics who are actively engaged in high quality research in the area of computer network, cyber security, computer vision, artificial intelligence, IoT, among others. Students at the department have a chance to work and contribute in those air research areas and to pursue further studies such as PhD studies. So in the last five years, the ICT department has been steadily producing and contributing to academic and research excellence and we are looking forward to providing and looking for creative way and innovative way of maintaining such high quality for the next five years. Now, all this wouldn't have been possible if the faculty wouldn't have been created five years ago. So I take this opportunity to wish a happy birthday to our faculty and long live the faculty. Thank you. Hello, I am Mrs. Lakshmi Nagua, the Head of Department of Software and Information Systems. The department consists of a team of 60 dynamic academics who service a number of programs in, the, in line with the government vision, industry needs and emerging trends. When the faculty was created, the Department of Software and Information Systems started with three programs, namely BSc Information Systems, BSc Software Engineering, and MSc Software Project Management. We are now offering five programs. On top of the three mentioned programs, the department also offers a BSc in Data Science, which is in collaboration with University of Sergi Paris in France, and we offer an MSc in Artificial Intelligence. The department also offers certifications in ERP SAP. We focus in producing professionals in diverse areas such as information systems, 
software engineering, artificial intelligence, data science, big data analytics, and intelligent systems. The department aims to open up new horizons in informatics through academic, research and development. The members of the department are highly engaged in research in diverse areas, namely intelligent systems, data and information systems, health informatics, artificial intelligence, biometrics, among others. They are involved in interdisciplinary uh, research projects at national and international level. Members of the department also contribute to building inter innovative solutions for a smart society and they generate revenue through training, consultancy and research. In future, the department plans to offer internationally accredited undergraduate and postgraduate programs which are relevant to the industry needs, especially in areas of software engineering and informatics. We plan as a department to become a reference unit for state-of-the-art in informatics and artificial intelligence. We also plan to participate in the development of national policies in these areas. We wish to promote an innovative culture through synergetic partnership with the industry and other stakeholders focusing on leading computing technologies. On a final note, I wish to Seize this opportunity to wish the faculty a happy fifth anniversary. Thank you.